Okay, gotta wait for it to be in focus. Welcome to the third year uni vlog. Today, we woke up very early and we cleared out my old room, took down all of the fairy lights, took down all the photos, emptied the wardrobe, emptied the shelves, cleaned them all. Who knew you could accumulate so much rubbish within a year? And Nicole has cleared her room, so now, welcome. This is the empty third year bedroom. It's a little bit smaller, so I have no clue where half of the stuff is going to go, but we are going to make it beautiful. I've decided to completely scrap my old aesthetic. I've been on Pinterest too long. I know what I'm going for. Up here, you might be like, oh, that light looks a bit weird, a bit like a jellyfish. It's not actually a light. It is a light, but it doesn't work. There are no mains in this room, so we are going to put my 40 meters of fairy lights that were up and down my wall up along here and make them like stars so that way there's light shining down from everywhere so there shouldn't be any bad shadows in this room so this bookshelf this can actually fit here so we're going to shove this wardrobe into the corner um also yeah it's really bright and it's very hot and here's very very sweaty i think it's 28 degrees so yeah i'm going to be sweating in this video so just yeah that's what the shine is that's literally like a centimeter off damn it look at that that's all the difference that we would just need. And you would be right in thinking, yeah, this is just wasted space. No. Again, you might be like, oh, look, a bit of space. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it doesn't block it. Cool thing about this, I have a Juliet balcony, which means that I can do this. And that's about it. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Starting with all the important dresses first. I bought a lovely red suit, but it smells like mould because I got it off Depop and it smells quite bad. I tried to wash it, but it turned everything, everything pink. This is equally as smelly, but I think they were like 20 quid. My cool idea is to use this beautiful bougainvillea plant and some fake gypsophilia, so it won't give me really bad hay fever. So, do you see this mirror here? This mirror sucks because you can't see anything in it because there are lines all the way through. So, oh my god, that's so pretty! So, Look! Um, where's the surface? I don't know, I'll just hold this. So Dan is about to go out because I can't find some sellotape. I do have two rolls, if not three, in this plant. But because everything is a bit everywhere, uh, I can't find it. I know, I'm literally one bag away from finding it. Oh, yes, I knew as soon as you would leave, I would find it, and I found it. So earlier on, you might have seen me fill this like box of beauty stuff up. I'm gonna stick it in this shelf. So these are going to be like little containers because at the moment this is a little bit of chaos. So this is my box of nail things. I've got my nail polishes in here, hand creams, cuticle oils, nail varnish remover, and I'm gonna stick that. Mm, actually no, I use that one a lot, so maybe that shouldn't get the back. Okay, I retract what I just did. And my mistake is actually to stand things up so that you have more space. Now this takes up half the box. And then I'm going to use the lid as another container. At the back, this box is for body and like miscellaneous hair things. Face stuff, this half is nails and this is stuff I use every day. So deodorant, contacts, perfume. And then this is where my makeup bag is going to live. This is my health and safety box. So hay fever, arnica, deep heat, spare toothbrushes, um, plasters. Dan returned with some Energize Innocent Smoothie. And we also have some grapes. We're getting some nutrients in because actually I've had none today. This goes like wrapped around the top. Yeah. All done. All done. These need to be sorted. So that's what I'm going to do right now because this is a bit of a mess. As you can see, I have a mountain of clothes behind me. I think my wardrobe is done. <laughs> Yeah, and I've actually weirdly got some space. So jumper drawer, jumper drawer, jumper drawer, long sleeve top drawer, jeans, fancy shirts, sports stuff, swimming stuff, pajamas. 
I love having a bedside table lamp. What I did is I fed my extension cable, as you can see it there, all the way behind the bed. We pulled it out, went round back behind the radiator, down the corner, past the kumquat and through. That is how long this extension cable is and it's brilliant. So now my charger has been plugged in down the back. So I was doing a little bit of the uh, final touches. My uncle did call, so I was trying to do it one-handed, but um, we're getting very close. There are a few things that I'd like, like to add a mirror, but I think I'm gonna look in a charity shop for that when I drop off my stuff. They are damage free, so just going to show this so my landlady can see this. Remove the back liner and apply the strip to the wall. Press the entire strip firmly for 30 seconds, then remove the blue liner. 10, 11, 12. 12 Mississippi, 30 Mississippi, 40 Mississippi. We have so far done, well as you can see it's getting quite dark, so I'm using the flashlight. We have done 10 along there, and I think this is our sixth one along here, so we've only got four more to do. I'm not sure if you can see much, but we have done as much as we can do of the ceiling. The main problem that we have just found is that, well, it wasn't a problem because we ran out, um, which is good so we don't actually have to go over there, but it is literally about that far away from the wall, that point over there, so we can't, we've got a lot left. Three, two, one, on. Ah, that's so beautiful. Wow. So it is almost 9 p.m. and finally the room is finished. These are some of my mum's paintings that she gave to me and some of the flowers that she makes. I put those up there. This is the desk area. I don't have any pegs yet, so there just happened to be some screws in the wall which I've used to hang up my dressing gown and a spare tote bag. These are my sister's artworks and I thought they looked really nice there. I had these photos up in my room last year and I thought that the red kind of goldy white look went, so I might stick those up here. This is my Dalmatian's bedspread that I got when I was in the Netherlands from Hema um, and it was really expensive, it was like 30 euros. The beds over there are really weird and so it doesn't actually properly fit my bed. Currently this is how my room is going to look like the third year. Knowing me I probably will change a few things and stick up a lot more stuff and still collect more things but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel and I will see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.